Hello everyone, Forex here with another tutorial. In this video I'm going to continue with the intro creation process. So welcome everyone who is coming from the first part and for those who didn't see that first part, I recommend you watching it right now. Because we'll continue where we left off the last time. So we have a trigger that calls the function camera out and we are prepared to make cameras. And that process is actually not very difficult, let's jump into the game. Now that we are in the game and we can move freely, we can mark positions for the camera to be in. So if I want the camera to be in this position, I adjust my view like this and now click the left mouse button. At first glance it does effectively nothing, but the game saves the information about my current location and the data can be used to make cameras later. So I'll create two more positions close to this and always click the left mouse button when I'm in the right place looking at the right thing. If you want to make a moving camera, mark the starting point and the ending point. So I'll make this silly movement just to show you how it's done over here. The good thing is you can do whatever you want right now. You can spend 10 minutes figuring out the best camera location and later move the camera there in like 5 seconds. The game only records your position when you click the left mouse button. The bad thing is, things like perfect silker movement are slightly more difficult and you have to define them manually. So once you are done, you can leave the editor, because we'll use scripts now. So prepare a script and we'll start creating a camera first, so the first line will be underscore camera equals to quotes camera quotes cam create brackets 0, 0, 0 brackets. And the second line will look like this, underscore camera, camera effect, brackets, internal, comma, back, brackets. So with the first line we created the camera itself, but we just created an imaginary object in the middle of the sea which isn't very useful. That's why we added the second line where we add the effect for the camera and that connects the camera with the player's screen. So at the moment we would be watching the sea. But don't worry, because we'll now use the captured points from before to move the camera to the correct place. Go to the local disk C, users, your username, app data, local, arma3 or arma3 other profiles. In this folder you will find a file named clipboard.txt. Open it and copy the contents into your script, below the two lines we wrote earlier. So most probably it will be quite a lot of text relatively, so the prepare target and prepare pause commands move the camera around. The game captured your exact location from before, so don't worry about these numbers. The FOV command is the zoom of your camera and the cam commit marks the time that it takes the game to apply the changes to the camera. Now let me explain this command. The camera is now at 000, but it is already preparing to move to the new location, indicated by these coordinates added from the clipboard. The cam commit indicates how long it will take the camera to move to this location. Right now it's set to 0. So it will move instantly and you won't even see the 000 location. But if we set that to let's say 20, the camera will start at 000 and it will start moving to the new location in the shortest way possible and it will automatically pick the speed so that it arrives after 20 seconds. So use 0 if you want instant teleports of the camera and use numbers higher than 0 to see the camera actually move from one location to another. And the higher the number, the slower the camera movement is, because the camera has more time to move. A short note, you cannot influence the way in which the camera moves, it picks the shortest way possible, and you cannot change the speed of the camera in the middle of the movement. If you want the camera to move in more complex ways, you will have to write it yourself, but at least you have some examples of practically all commands that you need. Also, remember that the cam commit command applies to previous commands, so first you have the position itself and then the cam commit. And also be aware of the fact that the semicolon is missing in this last command, 
so you will have to add another one if you want to add other commands to the script. So I'll leave the first cam commit at 0, because I want to start at the first location, then wait for 5 seconds, change again instantly, wait 2 seconds and then move in 4 seconds. So I'll be moving the camera for 4 seconds and I want it to stick in the final location for a while, so I'll be waiting for 6 seconds total. 4 of these will be taken by the camera movement and 2 extra seconds will be for the stationary camera. Also notice that every time the game also waits for the camera to move to the next location, so even if you forget to add the sleep command, the game will still wait for the camera to finish its movement and only then it will move to the next bunch of commands. But remember, if you want the camera to move and then stay at the final position, you will have to add the sleep command somewhere. And when you are done editing these values, add one last line at the very end of the script underscore camera, camera effect, brackets, quotes, terminate, comma, back, quotes, brackets. This command exits the camera and the player's view will return back to player's unit. Also, when you are editing the script, make sure to have one variable for all camera related commands and because the game automatically generates all the movement commands with the local variable camera, I recommend you making always a local variable camera. If you want to use another one, make sure to rename it in all commands or connect the two variables together. Ok, in the next video we'll take a look at text and several simple visual effects. This is the end of this video, I hope to see you in the next one, comment, like and share and have a great day.